Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And one of the things that you might be wondering if you have a Microsoft account, Microsoft has what's called a privacy dashboard. And that, well, it's not within Windows. It's something that's online. It actually tells you and uh, has a lot of information of what you've been doing with your PC and your technology. It doesn't just work with your PC. That dashboard actually will give you all of the things that Microsoft has collected and knows about you from your PC or any device that you're using a Microsoft app of some sort. So for example, I use a lot of apps on my Android phone that have to do with Microsoft. So uh, where do you go to actually see that information? Well, you can Google it if you want, Microsoft Privacy Dashboard, but in Windows 10, you can go into the settings. In the Privacy tab, on the right side, you'll see something called Privacy Dashboard. Simply click here, and you will actually open your browser. It's going to actually send you to that Privacy Dashboard. Once you're here, you've got to sign in with your Microsoft account. And that Microsoft account, once you're signed in, will actually give you the possibility of getting all the information about what you've been doing. So you see here, you got your overview, which is your browsing, uh, tells you a little bit of what there is, browsing history. Uh, you can view it. You can clear your browsing history. That means you're clearing it from Microsoft servers. You can view and clear your search history. You can actually view and clear location activity. You can view and clear voice activity. If you have assistant Cortana, for example, you can view and clear media activity. So if you watch movies on uh, or TV on a Microsoft app or service, view and clear apps and services activity, product and services, performance data, edit Cortana data, view LinkedIn connection settings if you actually are using LinkedIn, manage your health vault account and so on, depending on the devices that you actually use. Now, I said you can go there, but maybe you say, hey, I don't see that option. I'll post the link to this page in the description below the video because the actual URL you see here at the top is account.microsoft.com slash privacy. So that's where you have a lot of information. You will have my activity. You will have the possibility to download your data, all the data that was actually saved in Microsoft servers with your Microsoft account. You can download that, review it, look at what it's all about. Cortana's notebook, if you're using the notebook within the Cortana app, you'll see what apps or what uh, notes you actually have in there. And finally, you have your ad settings that you can actually check it out. So we're going to actually have a video on each of these options. First of all, just know that there's the overview. There's uh, stuff to read here and there's things to talk about that will be uh, interesting to look at. And of course, it gives you the power of clearing all of your data. So that's the first thing you should do is head on to account.microsoft.com slash privacy. Link is in the description below the video. And there you will actually get to this page. Now, once again, you need to have a Microsoft account. You log into your Microsoft account and you will actually have this page and we'll actually have more details on this uh, privacy dashboard page that's been overall if you uh, I did a video um, a while back talking about it but it didn't look like this it was different so it's kind of different now and uh, I think it's time to revisit all of the privacy concerns you might have in here and there's a lot of stuff that you might want to clear or maybe just check out what exactly does Microsoft know about me if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching